I vow, girl, you are vastly handsome. <laughs> oh, law, sir, you'll make one ashamed. Oh, I never saw a more sprightly, malicious eye. Um, yes, yes, I did call. Um, I was wondering if you had any of your, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, in the house? <laughs> No, sir, we've been out of that these past ten days. Oh, why, one may call upon this house, I find, to very little purpose. Mm. Suppose I were to call for a taste, uh, just by way of trial, of the nectar of your lips. Ah. Uh, well, perhaps I should be disappointed in that, too. Ah, nectar, <laughs> nectar. Mm. That's a liquor there's no cool for in these parts. Mm. French. I suppose. We sell no French wines here. Uh, no, of true English growth, I assure you. Oh, then it's odd I should not know it. <laughs> we brew all sorts of wines in this house, and I have lived here these 20 odd years. Tw 20 years? Why, then one would think that you kept the bar before you were born. Ha <laughs> ha. How old are you? Oh, sir, I must not tell my age. Mm. They say women in music should never be dated. Mm. Well, to guess at this distance, you can't be much above 40. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. but when we come nearer, I don't mm -hmm. think so much. Mm. By coming closer to some women, they look younger still. But when we come very close indeed, <laughs> oh, pray, sir, keep your distance. Uh, One would think you wanted to know one's age as they do horses by mark of mouth. Oh, no, I find you use me extremely ill. Mm. For if you keep me at this distance, how can we ever become better acquainted? And who wants to become <laughs> acquainted with you? <laughs> I want no such acquaintance, mm. not I. I am sure you did not use Miss Hardcastle. That was here a while ago in this obstropolis manner. I'll warrant me. Before her, you looked dashed, kept bowing to the ground, Whoa. and talked for all the world as if you was before a justice of peace. Egad, she has hit it sure enough. In awe of her love? <laughs> No, 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 no. I find you don't know me at all. I laughed and rallied her a little, but oh. I was unwilling to be too severe. Now, I could not be too severe. <laughs> Curse me. Oh, then you are a favorite, I find, among the ladies. Oh, yes, yes, a great favorite. Mm. In the ladies' club in town, I am known as their most agreeable rattle. They're agreeable rattles. <laughs> Do you ever work, dear? I sure. There's not a quilt or screen in the whole house but can bear witness to that. Oh. Well, then you must show me your embroidery. I uh, embroider and draw patterns myself a little. If you ever wanted a judge of your work, you must apply to me. Aye, sure, but the colors do not look well by candlelight. You shall see all in the morning. Mm, and why not now, my dear? Such beauty fires beyond the power of resistance. 